Wagwizi, it's your boy Jono, and you can see from the name of this new season, um, whatever you want to call it, new first really for me, it's called Going Out With A Bang, and the idea of this is that FIFA 12 in a couple of months isn't going to be played again, FIFA 13 will come out, and Ultimate Team 12, however much you've hated it and criticised it, isn't isn't going to be played it's going to hit your shelf and sit there for the next however many years you know i have fifa six up there so yeah six ten years it could be sitting there so i've gone out and i haven't bought the best team possible on ultimate team um personally i didn't have the coins to do so but i bought you know the players i wanted to play with you can see the back four is pretty standard i mean the the key players for me in this my favorite players is that the 86 rated uh, uh shinji kagawa his his Ball control, his dribbling, even his his finesse shot, they're phenomenal. The Schweinsteiger, his long shots, well, you know, I don't really need to say much on that. Blaschikovsky with the pace, Ribery also with the pace, um, but with the skill as well. And Marco Royce, uh, all-round great striker. Did have a couple of different players in this team. I had a far fan out on the right and Mario Mandzukic up front, but, you know, they weren't doing it for me. And before I wanted to get my first video out on YouTube, I wanted to find the team and this this is essentially the team I played with a French team a Brazilian team a Premier League team a Serie A team and this is the one that I like the most and the name of this episode is called uh, popping my cherry and well as I've now mentioned quite a few times this is my first video with actual uh, gameplay footage so essentially I'm popping my cherry on that so we come up in our first game against Almo Gaming HD and he besides the Danny Varela and Pablo Aymar I wouldn't really say this was the greatest of teams. He's got all right chemistry. It's a four and a half team. So whatever, we'll see. And uh, you might have noticed at the beginning, my win records are only about, I think, 15 it was above my loss records. So yeah, I'm not bragging. I'm not saying I am the best FIFA player out there because I'm not. But, you know, why not watch an average player play and see how he sort of gets his road to glory. So we kick things off here in the sixth minute. Schweinsteiger pushing forward a nice little LTRT skill dribble he plays into Royce who switches it onto his right foot and finesses that down into the bottom corner yeah no keepers never gonna get that uh, now Shinji Kagawa into into Gotts Castro's nice and far forward which he does often a little ball over the top from Ribery again finesses it slides it past the keeper and one thing I do like a lot about Castro is he pushes forward a lot and although he can get caught out when he's coming forward if you can make them pay, then you're not really going to get caught out. Uh, he manages to get one back here. A nice header from Cardoza. Not too much I could do once that ball was coming in. Besides for watch it and watch Cardoza head that into the back of the net. Um, and he actually gets a second one here. And you know what? I'm going to give it to him. I sat back and watched him play around me. And then watched him thump that into the back of the net. So well played to you. Um, but never never die out and we get it on to Frank Ribery who crosses it into Royce or was that a finesse shot I'll let you ponder on that but Marco Royce gets his head on it and gives us the lead 3-2 now look at this look at that as a cross from Ribery onto Royce's head now from the halftime stats there you can see I am just edging it I think he had better possession though um, but anyway we whip that ball right out to Marco Royce and this is how I love Royce his his close ball control, you see the fake shot there, gets his pass his player, was unlucky not to finish it, but Shinji Kagawa, right place, right time, hits that on the volley, puts it in the back of the net. He then plays a nice ball over the top into Saviola, knocks it back to Aymar, again my defending, I just run straight past him and he finesses that into the top. Uh, this guy didn't have a great team and I wasn't playing that well, you can see I score and he gets one back, I score and he gets one back. Thankfully, we could keep that one goal league the whole time. Um, and then Royce into Mario Gotts. Royce beats his man. And that was a bit of a belter into the back of the net to give us that 5-3 lead. And that's how this match is going to end. So we take the, that two-goal lead from the 65th minute all the way to the 90th. And we get that win. Now, our second game here against Champions 2012. And looking at those ratings there, I reckon he will have a good team and he does you know that Schneider pops up there and I'm like oh is that in for is that team of the year going to be an Ibrahimovic but thankfully it's just a dust so not as worrying as it could have been but he's still got Lenz, uh, Van der Vaar, Afalai, 
uh, Van Persie. So he's got a strong Dutch team here. Um, Champions 2012, really, they didn't get very far in 2012. So I'm not too sure what you're thinking there. But he makes a mistake with his keeper, rolling it out to me. We eventually find Ribery, who once he finds his composure and his feet, again with that finesse into the top corner. This time it's Blaschkowski to Schweinsteiger and Schweinsteiger sees the keeper off the line and why not go for it. Keeper is not going to get that while he's running backwards and that's what's going to happen if you do stupid things. This time we get the ball over the top to Mario Gotz who fails on the chip, Kagawa fails on the finesse and somehow that ball finds its way to Schweinsteiger on the volley who buries it. Again another lucky goal from Schweinsteiger and again here's Schweinsteiger coming through and he hits one and I actually did not know that his keeper was off the time this line but hey once again take your keeper off the line and you're gonna get punished dominating on stats completely there and you can see why I like Schweinsteiger so much he's always back there with his defensive stats and if you can get him forward then he's gonna get that long shot off and do it well for you uh, he gets another one back but this here is probably the best goal I've scored in FIFA 12 and I've tried to do it for such a long time I'm so happy it happened Schweinsteiger just belts one from the edge of the center circle and the keeper just watches that go over his head I mean say hello to Mr. Schwein the little skill dribble knocks it forward and bang that is a thumper and it's now 5-1 the guy manages to get another one back here with Van der Vaart but are we as I said before, never be dead and out. They score on you, you got to go score on them. Ribery, a uh, bit of a skill dribble, uh, skill run here. Fail on the advanced rainbow there, but picks it up. And then was trying to look for options, nowhere really to go. Just cutting back, cutting back. And then the space opens, so let's get that one into the top corner with Ribery's finesse again. And once again, this is how the game is going to end at 6 two so there were the two games for this episode um i hope you like my gameplay uh hopefully you will be seeing a lot more of this gameplay um now i was just just as you know the team of the week was out and i got two wins that gave me roughly the 2500 coins you know they gave me about 2000 coins those games decided to open up a silver pack uh get my chances you know there's not that many gold i know the actually the euro team is still out but there's not that many golds uh, in forms out there right now they're mainly the silver and bronze and as you can see I really don't get anything from this pack uh, add a couple of things to my consumable pile and a few things into the trading pile uh, I like to keep my consumables normally so you'll see I send these to to the trade pile but that's only until my consumable pile really clears up 50 consumables in my pile I know that's a lot but hey why not if I'm getting them from packs I might as well keep them saves me some money and I just changed onto that badge now and now uh, this video is coming to an end. I very much hope you like my first video. Uh, a like maybe, a comment, and if you're feeling nice, a subscribe would be very nice. Thank you very much for watching.